welcome back to my youtube channel so for this video i am finally going to be doing my cambridge weight plan part two if you haven't seen part one then i shall leave it up here and also in the description box down below so i suggest go and watch that first and then come back and watch this video but i'm basically going to give you an update on where i am doing this cambridge weight plan eg one to one diet what i've been up to why is it taking me so long to record part two and basically just motivating you to lose that weight so if you want to see what's in this video then stay here and let's get started so you're going to be thinking izzy why are you back for part two a year later and i'm going to tell you why i'm back for part two a year later and that's because my financial circumstances changed rapidly within those last few months and i ended up having to quit the cambridge plan because i could no longer afford it if you do the cambridge plan then you will know that it's an expensive plan to do but it's the only plan that ever works for me so it was just like really bogged down anyway put a long story short i gained it all back on shock I couldn't maintain it so I put it all back on again and a bit extra because lockdown hit and I just ate and ate and ate. I got to a point where every night I would need to eat something so when I got up to bed I'd have like Maltesers, pick and mix, other chocolate, anything I could get my hands on I just ate it like a mad person and it got to a really unhealthy habit. In that time from last year to now I have actually started my own business called Busy Izzy uh, so I'm like a freelance PA and I do pet services so I need to like get that going before I could earn the like enough money to then be able to do this Cambridge weight plan so I'm finally at the stage where I can do it so I'm super super excited. I started the weight plan on the 2nd of November so just at the start of the month. I'm in my second week I've just been in for my first weigh in. I am of course on step two here is the steps booklet. Like I said if you haven't seen part one do go and watch that first because this won't make any sense to you at all. This is my steps booklet and as we all know the different vegetables you can have have, there's different meat you can have and it's all green or amber but I won't go too much into that because that's what the first video is for this is just like an update how am I doing type video so step two I've been on for a week now it's been really tough obviously the first week is horrendous but I got through I have drank so much water it's been ridiculous obviously the more you drink the more you shrink is what they say and it's definitely worked this week I think the first way in I ever had when I did the Cambridge plan last year, I think my first week was like minus two pounds and minus five inches of a call, which I was devastated with because you work your backside off and you don't get anywhere. But this week, drum roll please, I have lost half a stone and nine inches. Yeah, like how crazy is that? I was nearly crying on her doorstep obviously you have to do doorstep weigh-ins now because of covid and obviously i had to do my inches by myself at home as well because obviously they're not allowed to touch you because of covid so i was just like absolutely buzzing my tits off right there and then i've never done so well on a diet in my life so i was just so so excited sarah also gave me the little christmas tree so this year I am doing the 30 day challenge with Sarah. 30 day challenge means the biggest weight loss loser wins a 50 pound high street voucher. And I'm there, I'm game, like I am winning that voucher. So this is the beautiful Christmas tree that Sarah gave me this morning. And then here are my sticky baubles. So it's got all the different weeks on it. I'm yet to put my first stick on it, but I'm gonna put week one and minus seven pounds so that is crazy so it's a countdown to christmas let's see how much this girl can lose i'm just super super excited also from last time they came to diet they bought out so many new products that weren't there last year i've got some with me today and then the other ones i'm gonna like post on the screen as i'm going along and trying them out as well so i'm gonna rate them out of 10 for you i can't rate all of them because i've not tried all of them but the ones that I have tried, I'm going to stick a rating up because some of them were really bad. Like, I didn't really like them that much. But everyone's taste is different. So if I like it, you might not like it. And if you love it, I might hate it. So just don't judge me on the way I rate them. It's just how I feel. To start off with breakfast time i love my porridges their porridges are dead nice and especially when it comes to this time of year as well you want something filling and warm and because i'm out all day doing dog walking and pet visits i need the energy and something to like just feel cozy inside 
and I know it feels really weird to say that but that is a game so obviously we've got the original porridge that's been here for ages apple and cinnamon was also there last year I think the new one is this mixed perry mixed perry mixed berry porridge I don't think this was here last year and I must say it is divine like 10 out of 10 and then bar wise this week I've got the peanut crispy bar it used to be a cream peanut what? it used to be a peanut to crunch bar and I was obsessed with them it tasted like a Snickers but they changed it to crispy there's no difference 10 out of 10 and then I've got the strawberry and apple bars these were here last year as well I'll call it like a 7 out of 10 it is really nice but I think if you have too many of them they can be quite salty and then the other bars I'm going to serve here now so I had a banoffee bar that was actually really nice so I'm going to read that like a 9 out of 10 I did enjoy that the chocolate and orange bar is disgusting I hate it so 0 out of 10 there is a cherry bakewell tart no cherry bakewell bar which is new and it was okay like 6 out of 10 but the festive bar that's it it's supposed to taste like Christmas wasn't a big fan so i'd say like six out of ten for that as well so we have our lunchtime meals now new ones we have got actually no that's not a new one so this one is the vegetable crew vegetable soup with croutons i had this last year wasn't so bad i thought i'd just get it again to give it another whirl and i think i'll give this like a seven out of ten and then this is not a new one this is the chicken tikka and i love this last year so i'll give it like a nine out of ten these are the new ones so we have green pesto flavoured pasta which I'm so excited to try, I've not tried it yet so I can't give it a rating and then we have cottage pie which is also a new one and I've not tried it yet so I can't give it a rating but if you've tried any of the new products let me know down below in the comments on what you think. That is pretty much this video summed up. I have actually got a new Instagram account that you can all follow, it's called Izzy's Cambridge Diet Journey. So if you go and follow me on there, I've got free posts already and I go on my stories every day. And if you send me messages, if you're struggling with anything, if you want help, drop me a message on there. Obviously you can always leave a comment down below as well. I just wanted to basically come and tell you that this is your year. If you've landed on this video, you're gonna smash it. Like I don't care if Christmas is coming up and you feel down and like the whole world's collapsing on you if you want to change how you look and how you feel then you need to do something about it no one's going to do it for you it's all about you and that's what i suddenly decided with myself no one's going to say izzy i'm going to give you two stone lofts today because why not they're not it's just ridiculous so if you want to lose weight you've got to get your ass into shape and do it yourself no one's going to do it for you girlfriend no one she believed she could so she did and as we all know from the first video, that is on my wall right now. Good Vibes Only is on there. And my last one is your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. And that is so true. So manifest. I've been manifesting so much recently. Manifest all those pounds and all those stones to just drop off. You'll be surprised of how well you can actually do on this diet. But I will definitely be doing another video soon. Maybe when I've lost a stone or something. So I'll definitely keep you updated on my diet journey. But if you did like this video then give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon for a brand new video. In a bizzle.